The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 451 pounds, the team of Booker T and Cedric Alexander. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. The raiding party has arrived. Here comes destruction. And introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. There you see what it's all about. Tag Team Gold. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, look as focused as ever here in this one. Aggression personified. The Viking Raiders never turn it off. And into the count. He kicks out with authority. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Uh-oh. Guillotine applied. Not going to last long in this one. All right. Big right hands to the body. Shoves off his opponent, and he is out. Ooh, just relentless. Those strikes were a sign from the challenger. A message that says, I want that title so badly, I can practically taste it. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. And did you hear the impact of that? Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, God. Oh, new champ. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. Not getting a two at this point has got to say something. Off the rope. Eric looking to keep up that Viking energy. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained a big reward. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. What a headbutt. Vicious. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. And Eric's power being curbed with that attack. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. Don't do it. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Setting it up. Nice neck breaker. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. 
And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Wrenching the arm. DDT. Ooh. Ooh. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Driven down into a brain buster. Oh, look at this. Arm wrench. Ooh, cover by the champ. Kick out at one for the challenger. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Sit out the first pile driver. Going for a pin for the championship. He keeps his team in the match. Eric looking to bait his opponent into a mistake. Driving the face down. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. An attack from the Viking Raiders that would make Odin proud. And well-timed maneuver there. Oof. Good punch. Nasty. Ooh, the cover by the challenger. Did I two count there? He's still in this. Got to see a new champ. Two count. Emphatic kick out from the champion. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a play. something here. And what's he looking for here? Baseball bat. I know that'll bruise the hell out of you. Fishing for something beneath the ring. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Pick. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. The champ looking out of sorts. Cedric looking to embarrass his opponent. And he gets delivered back into the ring. And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. And Cedric expected that. Whip back into the ring. Alexander. Oh my God. I know what's next. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Continue? Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And the champs stay the champs. What a title defense. Here are your winners. And still, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the team of Booker T and Cedric Alexander. Here are your winners of this Tornado Tag Match. These men really rose to the unique challenge of a tornado tag match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship! The EST is here. This is going to be good. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest. It's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great. The great-est. Get it?
She is the one they have called the future of the women's division. One of the biggest names in women's wrestling before joining WWE, trained by Booker T. You can't judge her by the company she keeps, but she is definitely living up to her hype. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne. And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Tonight is about earning the privilege to hold this title, the WWE Women's Championship. You can see a burning desire in the eyes of each athlete, knowing that the top of the mountain is on the winning side of this match. Every woman wants it. Few get the distinction of holding it. This match is for the WWE Women's Championship. The prestige of this title can't be overstated. Every member of our women's division covets this title and wants their turn as champion. But there can only be one, and that's about to be decided right here. And a slap for the exclamation point. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Close line to the back of the neck. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. A classic strategy for a reason. Cutting down the champion right from the very base. Now that is a winning mentality. Ah, she may have just slowed Roxanne down a bit there. Right to the face. My God. Check out this outrageous power from the EST Gorilla Press by Belair into the moonsault. Oh, God, that hurt. What's the best strategy in a match against a superstar like Bianca Belair, who possesses incredible athletic ability and raw strength? Well, chances are you can't overpower Bianca, so you have to focus on... From the top! Good Lord! Taking flight. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. That might be the prelude to Bianca ending things. And a slam. Squished with that. Anything Prez is trying is being suppressed. Belair is showing no mercy out here. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. There's something personal going on between these competitors. You can just tell. A lot of mean-spirited looks getting exchanged in the ring. Yeah, this rivalry has become something of a powder keg. Running clothesline. Uh-oh. New champion. Champ 
for the immediate kick out there. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. With an uppercut. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Roxanne showing an aggression that won't be contained. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. And a slap, too. Perez is taking over here. Nicely done. Picking her spots carefully against Belair and trying to outsmart the EST. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your... All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Big right hand. Sends the opponent to the outside. Here we go. Watch out. Ooh. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Really just laying it in. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, not looking good at all. Ooh. Kidding me. And now thrown back into the ring. Fed's press takes him down. Ah. Uh, might take her head clean off her shoulders. And a slap for the exclamation point. Oh, solid form. Effective arm drag. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Yeah, Belair struggling to find solution. And Belair reverses it. She's trying to fight back in this one. They're part of it gets countered with a right hand. Ooh, four. Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throw. Just ruthless. Taking this outside. This could be good. Continuing to attack the neck. Hey. Draped over the top rope. Devastating flourish from Perez here. Perez is reaching that other level. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. And we're still seeing plenty of fight left from Roxanne. Yeah, things looking quite bleak for Bianca. And a slap, too. These women have been dismantling each other since the opening bell. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? From the top. Perez on the receiving end. Now a pin for the championship. Not only did Bianca Belair pick up the win, she also retained possession of her title. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. She successfully defends her crown. What a battle. The champion was faced with a formidable adversary, but was able to overcome the challenge.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Get ready for the boom talks as well with his fist as he does at the announce table. His man is a multiple time intercontinental champion and a king of the ring winner. And the Barrett Barrage isn't even close to finished. Plenty of titles and main events on this man's resume. And he's a pretty good color commentator. Not quite at my level, but really good. Introducing the challenger. From Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. There is a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean, Byron, whether defending or challenging for the U.S. title, superstars seem to go the extra mile. Rhodes to the top. Oh, look out. High cross body. The champ is willing to gamble big here, putting it all on the line to keep the title. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. He's been placed in the corner now. 
strong overhead chops. Oh, just lighting up the chest of their opponent. Then slamming their face down. Oh, and Wade manages to counter. Big boots. Big knee to the midsection. Snap! Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Just stomping right into the face. Cody Rhodes, of course, has only improved his in-ring style over the years. Added much more devastating maneuvers to his arsenal. How do you prepare for someone like that, Corey? Someone who has evolved so much since his original days in WWE. You gotta work smart while Cody works hard. Here's the pin. Title on the line. He's able to kick out before two. This isn't even close to over. And Cody didn't see that coming. This could be a good chance for Barrett to get some distance and rethink things. Oh my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Cody clearly not the only one with something to prove in this fight. to Wasteland. And Barrett proved he... His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Hits him with the counter. And Cody puts a stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Absolute hatred boiling over in this one. This continues to be personal, not just professional. You're right, Cole. Sure, either side would love to beat the other in competition, but this is more about beating them down physically and mentally. Anytime. Any place, damn the consequences. Power slam. Goes into the pin. Gets the shoulder up after one there. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Bam! Springboard roundhouse. Good night. Rhodes has his opponent. To the cross, Rhodes. I think the champ's got it. Cover. Two. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Crucial victory as he retains the title. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title.